<laughs> and we're here with the very bubbly Jacqueline Parasetsky. She, she takes skin very seriously, but for this mm -hmm. moment today, we're having some fun talking about beauty myths. Beauty myths. There's so, so many of them. Yeah, it's well, good to be here. I've heard some of these. And I've got to tell you, um, I'm surprised that they are myths. So we're, we're going to go over those right now. We are. One of the first we've been teasing is the yellowing of the fingernails. And we all know what that looks like. Let's take mm. a peek. It is not uh, a pretty sight. When no, you get... yellowing fingernails is not. And a lot of us are wearing those polishes uh -huh. that are dark. Have you mm -hmm. noticed that all the girls yeah. are wearing, and I have some on today, like a purple and burgundy right. color. Oh, yeah. And I brought some nail polishes that are very in for fall okay. as we're going darker and richer in tones. So imagine all these colors and a lot of people just put them on their nails right away and they don't realize that their nails are very porous okay. and oh. nails absorb dark pigment. Mm -hmm. So the way to prevent that and is that you put base coats on. Uh -huh. So I brought one base coat. If you're like me, you want one step. And this is a base coat and a top coat. So you can okay. put the base clear base on, put the dark nail polish, and then put another base. And then what does that do? It just seals it then? It seals it. And that huh. way your nails your nails cannot absorb the dark pigment. So therefore your nails really aren't yellowing. It's oh. just because of the polishes you choose to use. It's darker, okay. And the other kind of base coat I bought is one that has a bio strengthener and a growth treatment. Okay. And mm -hmm. also it's a ridge filler. And why this is important to bring up is one thing that can be very unattractive in nails is that they look really ridged and darker polishes, unfortunately, they bring that out. Okay. So if you have like kind of scraggly, like nasty looking nails, you don't wanna put a bunch of dark nail polish because then you look like you have witch's hands. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> like I need one more witch thing. So the myth, the myth is your nails do not turn yellow because of polishes. It's okay. just because of the fact that you're not using base coats. Oh, interesting. Absorbing that pigment. That's right. Okay. You got it. Then right. let's talk about our big old pores. Big yes, pores. Big yes. pores. Okay, how many of you guys out of you two mm -hmm. think that you're, you can actually shrink your pores? That's what I've heard. No. I mean, that's, you can't? I didn't You that. actually can't. Okay. Genetically, you are predispositioned to have a certain... Um, with in your pore. Oh, wow. But what oh, wow. you can do by by keeping the pores clean, you can make them look smaller. Okay. Okay. It's a kind of an illusion. So if you're if oh. your um, pores are filled with blackheads, as the image is showing here, mm -hmm. it's going to make your pores look way more dilated than they are. Oh. And okay. also as we as we age, we lose elasticity in our pore, and that does not help. Okay. So that's why suddenly when you put makeup on, you'll be able to see your pores across the yeah. across your nose. And you why do some before. people just have humongo pores? Did they do something bad to themselves? <laughs> yeah, they extracted themselves. They did. That's a lot of the reason. Okay. So those. Are, so I brought some products to show you that are safe uh -huh. to make your pores look smaller. And okay. one of the big ones is Biore strips. Biore strips oh, are yeah, actually very safe. Put them on safe. and just yank them yes. off, right? You put them on, and it's basically going to help draw out the impurity in the pore. Huh. And then when you pull it off, you kind of look, and it's I was going to say, are guys yeah. as fascinated? Are women as fascinated <laughs> by this as guys no, are? Because I know, disgusting. like having done these things, <laughs> well, I'm an you do. You you're look. For well, yeah, okay, no. that's very really true. It's gross. Don't do but it. But I mean, it's it's amazing. You look at uh, and you're like, oh, that that is actually stuff in your pores. Is, well, especially when we're ma wearing makeup every single day, it's not yeah. helping. Well, yeah. I do have needs that my guy friends don't. They don't deal with that. <laughs> now we also have the, what I found this this morning, and this is actually great for men, and this is why I brought it for you. Okay. This is a rapid action face scrub. It actually has 2% salicylic acid in it already. Mm -hmm. And salicylic acid is known to keep pores clean. So okay. for a man, the areas you're not shaving, I would recommend using that scrub, especially right in this nose area to keep your yeah. pores looking clean. Because the shaving, is that like a, you're exfoliating anyway, right? Yes, you're exfoliating yeah. anyway, but your nose and your forehead mm -hmm. don't get that exfoliation. Well, no, he, see, he's got shave stubble all around his face. <laughs> He has good Pretty hair much. on his nose, too. On his yeah. nose, everywhere. And <laughs> also, you can use um, toners that have salicylic acid and alcohol in them, uh -huh. and that's going to okay. help absorb oils. And then also, you can use these uh, deep cleansing pore masks. You now know, the ones that are like... How frequently would you do something like that? You, I would recommend that once a week, and they're like okay. clay, and they, you put it on, and your face gets kind of dry yeah, and cracked yeah. feeling, but they mm -hmm. do draw out okay. impurities in your pores. And that'll make the pores look at least a little bit smaller. And they yes. make great okay. Instagram photos, too, when you're wearing <laughs> yes, it. Yes, great idea. That's... If you're going to post something on Facebook, too, mm -hmm. make it interesting. Oh, Don't just right. tell us what you're doing today. Absolutely. <laughs> Show it. And then let's talk about the myth of shaving, and the hair comes back darker and thicker. Yes. Okay, well, well here I'd is... I'd like to show you my legs. <laughs> <laughs> well, here is the thing. So many people think that this is true, and uh -huh. this is in fact not not the truth. I mean, this definitely is a myth, and the reason why is when you shave, 
-hmm. you're shaving the hair and you're kind of, you know, you're you're, pulling cu against. you're cutting it. Yeah. But the problem is the very base of your hair follicle, it has a wide point. And when you're shaving it, you're shaving right, you're cutting it mm. off right at that point. Okay. So when it goes through, it feels like it's growing through thicker, but oh. it's just the width. And then as it grows at, at the three week cycle, it'll start to thin out. Okay. And the hair will be just as it was before. Again, this is about genetics, your pores, and now we're talking about hair. We okay. can't genetically change our hair, and it will not grow back thicker. Okay. Okay. So that myth dispelled. And spell. it's great for exfoliation. Look at Pete's face. It's amazing. Okay. Pete. You know, I shave my face, actually, with the scalpel, though. It's called dermaplaning. That's oh, right. Yeah, I've seen that. That's, that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that takes off your super Let's talk hair. about the Marilyn Monroe. Okay. Yes. So Marilyn Monroe used to swear by, and I, the reason I brought a mask brush is so she used to swear by Vaseline masks. And I'm going to demo this on Sean's okay. hand. And so she used to coat her face in Vaseline every night before she went to bed. And she swore that's why she looked so young and vivacious. Now, I think genetics played a role in that. Yeah. What do you a think? A little bit, yeah? probably. And a lot of Hollywood's pillowcases look like this because of <laughs> Marilyn. No kidding. That's right. But the funny thing her is. Her face kept sliding off of the bed. <laughs> so, yeah, that's right. Very slippery. <laughs> the problem is Vaseline. It, it is, it's more of a prophylactic. So when people put it on, it's basically trapping the oil in the skin. So oh. the skin, the, the skin can't breathe very well. Right, no. Now her skin may have been drier, so she felt like that was staving off wrinkles. But in fact, retinol is really the only clinically proven ingredient to, you know, work on the, wrinkles, on the wrinkles in our skin. But Vaseline, again, I mean, that was back in the day, everybody slathered their face in Vaseline. In fact, I still have clients that swear by it. Uh, oh. But it's, it's a, a moisturizer. Myth. It does That's not it. work. It, moisturizing, but more in a trapping water and oil in your skin way. Okay. Not in an Which actual. Which does not sound good. Myths dispelled. No. Well, Jacqueline, thank you so much thank for Skin you. Perfect. Thank you.